Alrighty y'all, so what is going on everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Rodros. What the fuck? Old ass Andrew? Oh my god. It's your boy Rod, man, and today I'm gonna just film a quick little video. It's an update on the GTI. So I know I've been slacking. I actually do have a video for the GTI edited, which is like walk around my plans for it. After that, then I'll film another one because I already installed everything that I had for the car. And that's actually what today's video is. I'm gonna get new wheels on the car. Should be on my way there to the tire shop because my appointment's at nine in the morning and it's like 8.40. But I do have new wheels, so I wanna show you guys real quick and then show you guys with the tires because they do have tires right now but they're a little bit too aggressive i already test fitted them i have camera plates for the front so i just wanted to show you guys these wheels put them up on the truck and go to the tire shop and you know come back and throw them on the car hopefully the fitment is good and you know yeah so the wheels i do have for it are these puppies right here work in motion x t7s these are an 18 by seven and a half plus 48, I believe. Um, reason I got such a weak spec wheel is because these are a um, five by one fourteen lug pattern. And if you know about German cars and GTIs in specific, they are five by one twelve. So I do need an adapter, which is right here. Um, so I have a 20 millimeter adapter that is gonna go behind this. So it pushes it out a lot more. I will insert some pictures right now of the fitment with these tires before the smaller ones that I got. And then obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna film when I like mount the tires or not mount the tires, but when I put the tires on or the wheels on the tires and stuff like that. The fuck am I talking about? When I put the wheels on the car, I show you guys how it fits with the smaller tire. Hopefully my measurements and my imagination work. Let me go do that real quick. And then I will, you know, catch the vlog back when I'm done and hopefully make the car look good as fuck. I will catch you guys in a bit. All right, y'all. So we're back from the tire shop. We're gonna go into the garage. I know this is super close up, but there we go. I was holding something with my hand, holding the little speaker. Yeah, got the tires mounted. As you can see, got the GTI in the garage. And I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown of what I ended up doing. What I did was, oh my God, it's so bright. Here are the wheels with the new tires on them. So I ended up going 205, 40, 18s. Um, just because the 235s were a little bit too aggressive or bulging a little bit. So I gave it very, very minor stretch. Um, I didn't want too much stretch because I obviously daily the car and I drive it so much. So I wanted a very, very minor stretch. So I got 205, 40, 18. So as you can see, the GTI is absolutely disgusting. So I'm gonna put these on, wash the car, go snap some pictures of it, and you know, make it look good for the gram. So um, yeah, that's the plan for right now. And I might just update you guys Cause there's a couple little things i need to fix a boost leak on the car when i have the intercooler and then there's also this tab right here that i was talking with a friend of mine that has the same issue when it comes to fitment and clearance so i'm gonna do this tab delete keep you guys posted car is disgusting wheels are chilling waiting so um yeah i'm gonna let you guys know as the day progresses and as things get done all right y'all if y'all hear me and see my fucking cheeks that are red um i just finished tying up the lug nuts on the car um i will probably need to get an alignment just because um there's a little bit of not fitment issues but um there's some uneven sides and me having a slight amount of ocd don't like it i will flip the camera around and show you guys what it looks like um and yeah i'm actually in love with it because it looks good as fuck but here's the car get the whole entire thing in the frame so as you guys can see you got the work emotions on um in the rear as you guys can see this is what i'm talking about so this side as you guys can see my finger barely fits now i haven't drove it so i don't know if it's gonna settle anymore or anything but this side has so much clearance you guys can see i can fit my whole entire hand through the whole entire thing um so that's one of the things that has been bugging me on the front it's the opposite this side barely has any clearance um i can fit my finger so I might be able to just kind of like drive with it and this side 
it's perfect. I got clearance, so I might need to align it. Hopefully they can adjust it and all that stuff. But um, yeah, this is so far how she looks. Oh shit. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna go take it for a drive, see how it looks. Hopefully it looks, you know, it settles in a little bit. Doesn't rub, because um, I do have to drive the car to work on Monday. So yeah, we'll see how it looks. But so far this is it. And um, I just gotta wash the car and you know, clean it, make sure it looks good, go take pictures of it. And I'll probably start posting it on the Instagram for this car. And I will be posting the, you guys can see the little intercooler down there. Let me go take it for a drive, see how it is. And I'll keep you guys posted. All right, y'all, got the bummy ass fit and the orange lighting because of the garage. Just finished washing the car. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown. Oh my God, I can't even, I can't, I have like the flip out screen, I can't even like focus. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown of the wheels. So they're all clean, so you guys can see. You can definitely see them a lot better. So I'm gonna flip this camera around, show you guys. Here's just an overview of the car. Carbon metallic gray GTI Mark VI with white work um, XT7s and an 18 by seven and a half plus 40, 48 I believe. Um, with a 20 millimeter um, adapter and then you got just some basic lug nuts as you can see um, I ended up getting 205 oh my god I ended up getting 205 4018 NATO Neogen tires all around um, they are like a 280 tread wear not too bad so far they ride amazing and in the rear fitment's pretty damn good this is obviously in like a slanted driveway so I have a little bit of less, um, more clearance, I mean, in the back right now. On this side, we got decent clearance. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll show you guys the car on the side. I did not change my ride height whatsoever at all. Um, stayed how it is, so that's how I used to drive. But now, obviously, the fitment's flush and slightly tucked on the tire in the back looks amazing can't complain um you know honestly i've had these wheels for the past like three weeks been on and off trying to make them work finally got them after new tires i do have camera plates for the front coming so hopefully i can slightly adjust and adjust my camera a little bit i don't rub i think i rubbed away like whatever i'd used to rub but i might go shoot some pictures of this thing finally get the instagram back up and running one underscore no one basic underscore mark six i'll put it across the screen right here and then yeah go give it a follow this is the daily aka the four cylinder build so yeah let me send this video out all right y'all so that is pretty much it for today's video i just want to give you guys a quick little rundown on the new wheels how the car looks now so hope you guys enjoyed it gave you guys every single spec it is a squared setup so that's how it fits um the 20 millimeter adapter kind of you could do it either way it makes it fit like a seven or an 18 by seven and a half plus um like 20 something offset or it's a more than anything kind of like an 18 by like eight almost eight and a half ish wheel um because of the adapter since it pushes it out a little bit that's pretty much it i do have a video of a of the mustang i do have some parts for it i did get a sponsorship i will be announcing that in the next video um and hopefully i'll film that tomorrow so i can have stuff to edit and post um but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video follow me on instagram at roadros no what the fuck is up with me in the roadros today no, 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 no. Follow me on Instagram at rodman underscore s550. If you want to see more pictures of this piece of shit, follow me on Instagram also at one basic underscore mark six. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, if you like the wheels. If you don't like the wheels, I don't care. I like them, so whatever. Uh, with that being said, Rodman signing out. Peace.